Hey, Luann. Hey, David. Hi, I'm here. Okay, let's get this thing rocking. Gotcha. So here's what I here's what I, I just suggest you do, and this is what I've been doing, Luann. This is how you found me because I've been I've been delivering this type of you know content to realtors for a long time now, and and it's all the same. It's all the same. Here's what I always recommend doing first before you go into real Facebook advertising, which is where where you and I are at now. There's and and what I what I really do is I. I I paint this in a very simple five step, which we'll only talk about. Actually, I could talk about five steps in these five minutes. This will be a quick call. It's there, there's five basic steps that you want to implement before you really go into hardcore Facebook advertising. Where you and I are at right now, I call that hardcore Facebook advertising, where it's someone that actually has a good budget, a good enough budget to really, really make a difference. That's where you're at. So, but that, that's what I call step three. Before we even get there, before I even take clients there, Realtors specifically, what I've noticed, and if and, and and let me pull up let me pull up my page. When you go to my page, here's where all this is coming from. It's not just what I recommend you do. It's not just it's not just a suggestion. This is coming from real just evidence of where I've been in the market and what I've been analyzing in the market when it comes to realtors on Facebook. Because as you go and and run ads on Facebook. You also have to keep in mind that the consumers that are watching your ads, they also are looking at 2 million other realtors on Facebook as well. So you have to stand out. That's the bottom line. You have to absolutely stand out. And so when it comes to it, when you look at my page, I have on my page, you and I actually, we need to become friends. I don't know if you accepted my request yet, but I did. I when, did. when you look at, it might be because I'm maxed out. But I'll, I'll unfriend a few people so you and I can connect. But when you when you connect with me and you look at my friend count, I have 5,000 friends. So all this, Luann, is I'm just giving you context of where I'm coming from and how I'm thinking, what I'm thinking when it comes to marketing and, and this whole Facebook ad strategy for realtors. That's where all this, I'm just giving you some context. In 2016, when I, start, when I left mortgages and I started helping you guys with all this stuff, Facebook ads, social media marketing, what I did in 2016 is I didn't cold call every realtor. I didn't door knock every realtor and ask them for your business, ask them for their business. What I did is I came to Facebook and I started requesting thousands of realtors on my personal page, not the business page, my personal page. So today you, when you and I connect, you'll notice, well, actually you just noticed right now. I can't even add you because I have 5,000. So today I literally have 5,000 friends on my personal page. And every single one of them, Luann, except for one, except for one, who is my wife, every single one of them. So that's 49999, 4999. Every single one of them is a realtor. So all I'm saying is that in the context of what I'm trying to show you, these five steps, where I developed these five steps is I started looking at, at literally hundreds. Like right now you have 79 friends. Imagine if you had 790 Imagine if you had 300 or 3,000. Imagine if you had 4,000. And imagine if every single one of them, Luann, every single one of them was in the same niche. Imagine that. What you start to notice when you're following thousands of people is you start to notice ha habits and patterns. I literally, by having 5,000 friends on Facebook, I am, and every single one of them being in the same niche, every single one of them is a licensed realtor in this country, every single one of them. When you start seeing that, again, in 2016, 2017, 2018, I'm like, wait a minute. Every realtor wants to capture a lead. That's all you care about. A seller lead, a buyer lead. Who in the heck can I close today? That's all you care about. So, so believe me, when I, know, when I tell you I, know, I already know what you want with Facebook ads, I already know what you want, and that's lead capture. But as I started looking at thousands of pages and, and, and looking at what all these people are doing to market their listing, to find their next buyer, to market their open house this weekend. When I started looking at thousands, that's where these five steps came from. I, I noticed that 99% were missing the basics. You're over here going hardcore and all in with Facebook ads, trying to understand that. But again, what I'm trying to explain is I, is I realized that you guys are missing the basics. Forget about lead capture right now. There's basics that need to be on these pages that 99% of every realtor misses 
And that's how I came up with these five steps. Step one is this, step two is this, and then we get to step three, which is lead capture. But you and I, the way you and I started, you wanted to go straight into lead capture. You're like, David, I have this video. I need custom audiences. I need people going to this landing page. This is what we need to do. And, and I, wanted to, I wanted to slow down for a second and, and, and just really back up because after looking at your pages, I'm like, wait a minute. She's also part of the 99% who is missing the basics. So if we really want to execute on lead capture, which is our only goal, run Facebook ads, capture a lead, get them to the landing page, have them fill out the form. If we really want to be effective at that, that's what I call step three. We need, to, we need to implement step one and two. Because again, after looking at thousands, this is what I noticed that you guys are missing. Here's what step one is. And it's very, this stuff is very basic. I'm going to explain this in two minutes, but I had to give you some context of it all. When I, when, when I looked at thousands of realtors, here's what everyone's missing. When I come to this intro, and this is what I call step one, and this is your personal page, but we'll also look at the business page. It's the same thing. When I come to this personal page, there's information in this intro that needs to be listed because it's your credibility that's on the line. People don't know you. Like on social media, I don't know you. So if I'm looking at your ad, why am I going to click on it right away? How in the heck am I going to give you my phone number? I don't even know you. And then I go to your business page and you have, a, you have everything missing. There's nothing on the business page that makes you stand out at all. So to the average human consumer, there's a million realtors I can choose from on Facebook. What the heck makes Luann so different? And, and again, these are the basic steps that I always consult and say, hey, let's add step one first. Let's add step two next, and then we'll get to step three. And that's lead capture. So here's what we need to add on your pages. In this section right here, this needs to be updated. This section, when I come to this intro, this is what you're showing me. When I come to Candy's intro, this is what she's showing me. So both of you are showing me a link to your business page, which is perfect. So there's Candy's link to her business page. There is your link to your business page, which I added. That page, that link was never there. So prior to you and I speaking, you had this link going to your broker's page. I updated this and I made this go to your page. This needs to go to your page. So all your friends on this personal page, although you only have 79, they still need to only see your link and your link only. Okay, so, so both of you guys have your, your, your link listed, which is good. Here's what's missing on your page. When I look at Candy's page, what she's showing me is her other links. So we're now in a quote-unquote social media world. You're running ads on social media. People on social media you're running them to are a cold market. They don't know you yet. Now, now if they find you and do some, some further you know, digging on who Luann is, they're going to find your personal page. Or they're, gonna, or they're gonna click and go to your business page. So all I'm saying is that on the personal page, because we're now in a social media world, these other social media links need to be listed. That's step one. And when I analyze and I look at literally thousands of realtors, go look at my page. 5,000 friends are all public. You can look at every single one of my friends. They're all realtors. And when I look at them, 99% are just missing this basic stuff. Now, when I look at this, now let's just keep it real. From a total stranger to a total stranger, you come across candies and you see all this information. You come across lens and nothing's there. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. What do I, what do I add there? We need to add, look at what's on hers. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, her dot com. And if you look closely, every single one of them is identical. So all I did with Candy, again, she was coming at me just like you came at me. David, I'm looking for leads. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a seller's agent. I need listings right now. That's how she approached me first. And I said, Candy, wait a minute. Looking at thousands of pages, let me tell you what's missing first. Let me tell you what should be updated first, and then we'll get to the lead capture. So this is step one. All I'm saying is that we should add all of your links. And if you don't have these other platforms, we need to set up these other platforms. People on social media know to, need to know that Luann is a real person. And if I can show them more information that leads them to other social media platforms and I can have my pictures on those platforms as well, it's going to give me more credibility and social proof. And that's social media branding for you okay. is, that, is that we need a presence. Now, you don't have to know everything about Pinterest. You don't, know, you don't need to know one darn thing about Twitter. But what you do need to know as an entrepreneur is where your audience is at. 
And today, your audience are on these five. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Those top five platforms are literally where billions of people are at. Every past client, every, every current client, and every existing client, every future client, any client you'll ever end up closing escrow on is literally on one of these platforms this very second. It's, it's these top five. And just to add to our credibility on social media, we just need to add them. You don't need to know about all of them. You don't need to know how they work. You don't need to post on all of them. We just need to have them listed. As an entrepreneur, I need to have them listed. Because as people come to my page, they're going to either find my personal page or they're going to find my business page. Let's go to the business page. Or they're going to find this business page. And when people click about, they want to know who the heck Luann is. They just saw your ad. They just saw your video. They live four miles away from you, but they're not friends with you on Facebook. They don't like your business page. They don't know you. They're seeing an ad. They can either click on the ad and go to the landing page, or a lot of them click on the link and come to your business page. And so when they come here, and if anyone wants to know who the heck Luann is, why, why is she so different? It's about... That, 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 that tends to be clicked on. So when I click on about, there's, there's really, there's nothing here. There's a .com, there's your email. An email, a .com. When I click on Candy's and I go to Candy's business page and I click on about, let's see what she's showing me. She's showing me hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. Everything is matching, everything is identical. Now, is this a promise to more leads being captured? Not necessarily, but, but is this basic and is this step one? Yes. This is just your credibility. This is just your social proof. That's all. I just think your page would look a little bit better if we added all these links and, 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 and matched them all and, 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 and just allowed it, allowed credibility to be there. If people want to follow us on Twitter, there's your Twitter. If people want to follow you on Instagram, there's your Instagram. But I'm not on those channels. Well, we got to be. And, 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 and I'm not saying you have to be posting. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not. And as I just mentioned, you don't have to know anything about them. We just have to have it set up. So what I do is I just set them up for you. I want to set up, I can easily set up these other platforms and get them all listed on the personal page. Just like Candy, here's her personal page. I need one name that we can match for everything. And this .com, when someone clicks on your .com, it takes, it takes them to the landing page. So I need to set up all of this is what I want to do. I want to set up all that. I want to list them here on the personal page. I want to list them in the about section of the business page. That's step one. Here's step two. As people start to see your ad, okay, because every ad is the same. Let me go, let me go to, and if we look at the newsfeed, whether we're looking at it from a computer or we're, whether we're looking at the newsfeed from a, from a cell phone, it's the same thing. It's this sponsored ad. I see the news feed. I'm scrolling through. I'm scrolling through. And all of a sudden, I come across. Let's see if I can see another sponsored ad. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, where are the ads when you need one? If anything, I'll go back to the top one and click on Trump. But Trump is a celebrity. So, he, so, so, so step two, which is what I'm talking about now. That was all step one, listing the links. But here's step two. Let me see. Let me see if I can see an actual ad. Let me see if I can see that Trump one again. Um, let's just say this was an ad. It's the same darn thing. The only thing, only difference would be where it says 28 minutes, you would see the word sponsored. Same exact thing. There's the image. Okay. There's the image. And let's say down here where it says 13 comments, that's where it would be learn more. Okay, same thing. Instead of 13 comments, it would say learn more. And up here it would say sponsored. Same thing. There's the image. There's the link to the page. Okay. People, when they click on that link, when they click on that link and they come over to your business page, where's your business page? They come over here to your business page. The first thing we see is 99 follows. 95 people like the page. This is step two. This is step two. So again, we haven't even got to step three yet. Lead capture, running you know, ads that you and I are doing now. We're not even there yet. That's step three. This is step two. When people see your ad and they come over to your page and they see 95 people who like it, 
instantly your credibility is gone. Instantly. Your social media credibility. Because on social media, no one knows you. They don't know you've been in the business for 35 years. They don't know that you're a top producer. They don't know that you've been as successful as you are. On social media, no one knows you. So the first impression when seeing an ad, I can either click on the ad and go to the landing page. But again, I never seen the ad before. I don't even know who the heck this person is. Let me click on their link. Let me come to their business page before I give up any information. Let me see who the heck they are. Again, step one, they'll click about. We better have those links there. Step two, because they don't know you, they judge you on that number. So I come to Luann's page and I see 95 versus I come, to, I come over here to Candy's page, over here to Hedge Properties, and automatically I see 3,400. Candy has been in the business, Luann. Candy has been a licensed real estate agent for 12 months. You've been in the business for 35 years. But when I come to your page, 95 likes doesn't tell me that. You know, I need to. I've never done anything with social media to do. Yeah, this. yeah. And, and, and that's why I'm here to dumb it down for you. I've already seen what thousands of real estate agents do. Yeah. And I'm telling you, 99% miss the basics. This is the basics. Before we ever get into lead capture, which again, I call step three, I take this number up first. Okay. That's step two. So I would have put a few hundred, to tell you the truth, I would have put a few hundred first into this like ad just so I can get the credibility. Now, now you don't need tens of thousands. I'm telling you, I've literally looked at, I have 5,000 realtor friends, Luann. I've seen thousands of pages from real estate. I'm here to tell you that the majority of you guys have around 200 to 300 likes. That's it. So the moment you 10X your number, I always tell people just 10X your number. Wherever you're at, 10 exit. If you're at 100 likes, take it to 1,000. If you're at 200 likes, take it to 2,000. With Candy, she was at about 300 likes. And I said, Candy, this is step two. Step one, I'm going to list all your links. Step two, I'm going to take you up a few thousand. And then in about a week, we'll talk about step three, which is finding you seller leads. But at least by that time, step one and two are down and our page looks alive. Right now, your page is dead with 95 likes and no links listed. It's going to be very hard for ads to convert. I never knew any of this stuff. I'm glad I'm telling you. And that's where I, what I wanted to tell you the first, in our first encounter, on our first conversation, because I'm like, man, this lady is a rock star. I need to get her off on the right foot. But then, but then again, you come across some people that are just super adamant about what they want. And that was you. No disrespect. I love you. No disrespect, but that's how you approached me where you're like, David, I have this, I have this, just run it. And you didn't even really give me time to, to give you the context and the backstory on why step one and two matter. You know, it's, it's, it's our credibility. It's our social media, social proof. These people need to know the people in your backyard. And it's really, it's the people in our backyard because that ad, that video ad, we're only running ads to people in our local area, 28 miles around that address that you sent me, Right. We're yeah. only targeting them with our ads, which is step three. And those are the only people that I care to impress. So when they come to my page, the reason why I need a few thousand likes, it's because I need my neighbors to know that I'm the queen of real estate. They're not going to think that you're the queen with 95 likes. Even if, even if you had 100, even if you had 300, even if you had 400 likes, I'd be telling you the same thing. I'd be saying, Luann, your 400 likes mean nothing. We need to take it to 4,000. And so that's what, that's why on my page, it, it, it always, it, it's, it's the, it's the perfect proof because normally a lot of the times pe people don't just find me. I find them, right? I'm always prospecting. I'm always reaching out to agents. I'm always hunting for my business, just like you are. You're always hunting. But in your case, in our case with you and I, you came to me, you found me, but normally it doesn't work that way. I'll always find other people. And because of that, I'll always find them first. And because of that, why do you think I, I did it to my page? Step one, I listed all of my links. So if you come to my page, because no one knows who the heck David is. You didn't really know who the hell I was until you saw a video. But even when you saw the video, you still didn't know who the heck I was. So if I was running an ad and you saw the ad on Facebook, but you saw it on YouTube, imagine if you saw that video of me on Facebook 
you would have been more curious. You would have clicked on it. You would have came to my business page. You would have probably clicked on about to see who the heck I was because what the heck's so different about me? You've hired other marketers. What makes me so different? So there's my about section. There's all my links. And then also I knew that my credibility was going to matter because Luann doesn't know David. So if I took my likes up a few thousand, it adds to my social proof and it adds to my authority figure and it adds to my credibility. So when Luann looks at 10,000, she's like, damn, David must really be knowing what he's doing. Right? It's just consumer subconscious. It's, it's what you're seeing as a consumer. And that's step one and two. And then step three, now I run ads. But now as realtors come to my page and they see all my reviews and they see 10,000 likes, they know I know what I'm doing. But, but at the same time, who really knows? Because all I did is run an ad. All I did to take my likes up, all I did was run a simple like ad. So, so that's what I need to do to your page. That's what I want to do to your page. That's where I wish our budget went first. Not into hardcore lead capture, which is what we're doing now. And it's fine, whatever. But, but step one and two are still missing. That's what I want to do for you. I want to add all your links and I want to take this number up to a respectable number. A few thousand is all we really need. You don't need, you don't need you know, 10,000 like mine. You don't even need 5,000. Most real estate agents have 200, 200 to 300 likes. If you just took yours up to two to 3,000, that's a one-time ad. We never have to run it again. We turn that ad off. That was step two. Now we have a few thousand likes. Now we focus every dollar into step three, which is exactly what you and I are doing now. And that's lead capture. Right now we're running video views, but then when we turn around and retarget, it's lead capture. Step three. And, and then step four is your landing page. Step five is your email automation. So back to your original question on our previous call, when someone opts in, where do they go? right? You get a text notification. Someone comes to your landing page. Look, let's go to your, let's go to your landing page. Here is the, let's see, where is the actual, um, let's look at the actual ad. Here's the ad right here. Okay. Here's the ad. If we click on it, people can see the views and that's what we're shooting for. We're running this ad to get thousands of people to view it. That's step one, right? That's, that's where we're at right now, right? Seven days. So oh, oh, almost 3000 people have viewed it so far. So if I click on learn more, if I click on learn more and I go to the actual landing page, this is what I call step four, the landing page. When people opt in, that's what I call step five. So step five is your email autoresponder. I don't know if you have that set up just yet. Do you have an email? Do you have a CRM? Do you have an email drip system? Do these people, when they opt in, are they going to receive any emails from you in the future? You get a text immediately you do they do okay they get a text immediately and it's what a about? welcome text okay welcome thank you for filling out the form right right okay what happens after that are they are they going to be getting texts after that are they going to be receiving emails after that my business is personal so if they uh, click uh, any of the you know questions schedule consultation selling in three, selling in six, or whatever. Once they hit submit, I give them a personal phone call and try to set up like a five-minute conversation. Yeah, that, that is obviously what, what we want. That's the ultimate, ultimate goal. Step one and step two will help that conversion. And at the same time, an email drip system because as people come here again you got to keep in mind that's why the video views that's why i'm so so strong on me standing on the seven day period we run video views to capture the audience to then show them another ad in the future because people that don't know you yet that first ad the first seven days is going to a cold market you got to put yourself in the consumer's shoes would you really click on something and put in your phone number when you never seen that ad ever before? You wouldn't. Like, I, would. I know for a fact you wouldn't. I would. No, you wouldn't. Not if you just barely ran randomly seen an ad for the first time. You would? I would. Okay, so then you're that, you're that percentage that actually would. Most people on the internet would not. And that goes for any industry. It doesn't matter, realtor, any industry. Anything on the internet. I don't give up my phone number on anything unless I really know the credibility of that person who's asking for it. My phone number, that's my personal information. Now, my name and email, I don't hesitate at all. 
but my phone number, people don't just give up their phone number the first time around at all, at all, at all, at all. And, and that's why personal branding is so important. That's why step one and step two is so important. Um, and that's why having our next video ready to go is so important because we want to keep putting information in front of these people, not just show them the same video all month long. You know, we're using the video views to grab the custom audience, but after, the, after we get the custom audience, we got to then turn around and run conversion ads or you could, and again, the only reason why we're going with conversion is because you have a landing page. If, if, if we did not have this landing page, then for sure, just run lead generation which is what you did in the past. Run lead generation and, and, and use Facebook's form and collect the lead that way. But when you do it that way, you collect the lead and then you have to download the lead. You have to take it off of Facebook and then you have to upload the lead into your CRM, which is just more steps than I care to handle. I, I'd, rather have, I'd rather run a conversions ad straight to a landing page to get them to fill out the form and that name and email goes into my email autoresponder where that lead is receiving an email from me every day. That's step five is your email automation. You cannot expect for people to give you their phone number upfront right now when they've never even seen you before. And when your business page has 95 likes and there's no links listed, who the heck is Luann? You know, so, so we got to, th that's why, Again, I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but those links, step one, adds credibility. Step two, taking the likes up from 95 to at least a few thousand adds more credibility. And, and, then, and then people seeing your ads, a new ad every week, the people who viewed this first one, they need to keep seeing ads from you every week. That's who we're retargeting. We're retargeting all the viewers. We're retargeting all of them to get them to the page. But there's a whole there's there, there's steps to it all, you know. So hopefully something there made sense. I mean, do you have do you have any questions whatsoever? Are you going to charge additional fees to do all this? No, I mean, just obviously all you got to do is just pay for the ad. I mean, just run. Let's just run the like ad. You know, let's tell me the budget for the like ad, and and I'll run the like ad simultaneously. So I meant to do steps one and two. Well, the like ad is step two. The like ad is step two. And then step one, here's what I normally charge. I normally charge Luann a good review. So you're going to, you're going to come over to my business page and you're, you're going to give me a good review. That's what I'm charging you. How do I upload a review on my page? On your page, you cannot, but on other people's pages, you can. So, if you come to my business page, like if you just come to my, my personal page, David Cantero, if you just come to my personal page, you'll see my link and see. So just like on mine, like what I'm preaching, here's step one, right? There's all my links on my personal page. And then all you do is click on this first one. This is my business page, which on yours, it's your business page as well. But if you come over here to anyone's business page, you just click on reviews and then you click on yes or no do you recommend yes or no and then if you click on yes you can just write you know a couple sentences or whatever and 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 then now you have the review and so what i normally do in the very beginning is i say hey let's do step one and two first and i'll do it you just pay for the like ad you pay for the actual ad tell me your budget and i'll make sure facebook you know has it you just pay for the like ad and give me a good review. And I'll, I'll run the like ad, which is step two. And I'll also list all your links, which is step one. And so my last 34, you know, clients, all real estate agents, that's what I've done for them. And, and all I do is I say, hey, just go give me a good review. Because my whole intention is to be here long term, is to have, is to have every realtor, every client come back for step three. You and I, we started day one, step three. Now, I normally do step one and two for an individual in hopes of a review, in hopes of them coming back for step three, which is lead capture. Again, you and I, we started right away on step three. Yeah. So you, you just tell me your budget. Like I've mastered these numbers in a way, and you don't have to go up again. You don't have to go up a whole lot higher. We just got to go up a little higher on the likes. I mean, but, but I, I just tell me the budget because I've, I've, I've narrowed these numbers down where 
every $99, let's just call it $100, for every $100 that I put towards that like ad, we can go up another 1,000 likes. You don't need 10,000. You just need a few thousand. So I would go there first and let's just go up. Let me know the budget. We'll go up a few thousand. We'll go up a thousand. We'll go up a couple thousand, whatever. And then I'll email you what I need for step one. And that would allow me to list everything for step one. What's, what's the cost for 2,000 likes? Well, again, for every 1,000, it's 100. So for 2,000, it'd be a $200 budget. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So I'll put that 200 towards it. I'll send you an email and then, and then I'll also email you what I need for step one. And, and that email is going to be titled info needed. So look out for that email titled info needed reply to that one. That's going to allow me to start step one, which is listing all the links. And, and if you don't have any of those platforms, the Twitter, the Pinterest, whatever, just, just let me know you don't have it in the email and, and, and I'll create it for you. I'm ready to do it right now. Okay, perfect. So I'll get everything set up. I'll email you and then I'll work on it tonight. Okay. Thank you. You're so, so welcome. But, but just to, just so we're clear on, on, on the strategy of the video views and all that, I want to really make sure every question is answered. So what else do you got for me? Uh, it just seems odd that they're seeing the ad and they want to fill out the registration, but then you're saying they can't or they won't. No, they can they can, but that's not, that's not the objective. Oh, I know it's not the objective. You know, they, they totally can. They totally can. But, but we're telling Facebook right now, we are running a video views. That's what we're doing. We're running video views right now. All right, let's test it ourselves. Let's go fill out the, the questions and see if I get a text notification that it's working properly. Yeah, let me fill it out right now. Look, if you just, here's the ad. Here's the, here's the ad. We right. click on learn more. Yeah. It brings us to this form right here and let me know if you get my information. Is that populating from your Facebook account? Um, what do you mean? The ad? The phone number. Because yeah, actually it, 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 well, it's not, pop no, not from Facebook. It's actually populating from my Google because in my Google, um, um, browser, like I have information saved and it's just pre-populating information that I already save just so when I go and fill out stuff, it's faster. It's all a Google. It's a Google thing. So so if I wait, wait, before you hit submit, you have to choose one. Okay. Perfect. So I hit submit. Yeah. Let's see if I get a text. Now here, here's the thing also, when we do go into conversion ads, which, which are exactly 110%. Exactly. Oh, the, I got you. Yeah, I know. It works. Everything's working. But, but what I'm saying is that when we go into conversion ads, okay, we're not there yet. We're under video views to build a custom audience, okay? When we go into conversions, let's just call it on day eight. That's when our whole 110%, every penny that we're willing to give Facebook is for the only purpose of driving a person to the landing page. That's it. Now, when we get there, this page that they end up seeing, I'm going to change this out. This is what we call a thank you page, but this is not a thank you page. This is your Remax website. So a thank you page would be similar to this. It's a web page. It's the same thing, but it wouldn't have all these things at the top. And the landing page would have a simple call to action with getting people to schedule an appointment with you. I thought that was the purpose of the landing page. Yeah, that is the purpose of the landing page. But again, not everyone's going to give you their phone number, Luann. You got, you got to really, you got to, we're going to test it. We're going to test it. But when it comes to internet marketing in general, and I'm speaking just, I'm speaking on the entire industry, leads convert online much, much at a higher rate when you're asking for the least amount of information. So when you're asking for the phone number, you're not always going to get the phone number. So when people come to the page and they only enter their name and email, there has to be a page that they come to next that gives people the ability to schedule an appointment there. So for example, on my page, I have a page that I market to real estate agents. Okay, this is a page where I end up marketing my free book. 
okay, I have a book. I wrote a whole book about all these five steps that I just explained to you. Here's my landing page. Okay. This is a book that I wrote last. Actually, I wrote this in 2018 and it talks about these five steps. Okay. This is, this is, this is all my, my stuff. Okay. This is my landing page. When people click on send me the book, I'm asking for first name and email. Now, if I was asking for phone number, again, what I'm telling you is that not everyone's going to give it. When they click on the orange button, send me the book. I'm going to show you right now what happens. So right when I come to your landing page, I enter the information, I click the button. You're sending me to your next page, which is your website, your Remax website. What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm sending them to my thank you page, which is a video of me. It's a video of me thanking them. So now I'm adding more personal branding to it. Now, if you don't want to be on video, that's fine. I'm just giving you the strategy because this stuff is super important. When they come to the thank you page, there needs to be there, something there. You can't take me to your Remax website. On that thank you page, it doesn't have to be a video of you. It could be an image of you. And right below, because I know not everyone's going to give me their phone number, right below, I give them the opportunity to schedule a call. So right when I come to your page, I enter, I enter my information, which is what I just did. You took me here. When, when people in, in, enter the information on my page, I take them here, and there's only one button, and that's to click on it and schedule an appointment. This would just help the conversion increase overall. By, 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 by setting up another page right like this, which gets them to schedule a call if, if they want to. So this is what I call a thank you page and yours is not, which I'm going to have to update. This is not a thank you page. I don't want to send people here. After they just gave me their name and phone number, I'm not sending them here. We have to send them, send them, we have to narrow in how to sell your home. This is really, really good. This right here is good stuff. But the only button I want down here is, is a button that maybe takes them to a calendar. See more listings. They can, I guess, I mean, they, they can click on that if they want. But when you take me here, now all of a sudden my attention is on a million different things. What if I end up clicking on Claudia? What if I like her better? And now all of a sudden I want to work with her. And although she's on your team, that could be good. Hopefully she's on your team, right? Because what if I end up clicking on her and want to reach out to her instead? There's just too much on this page for that person to get confused with and overwhelmed with. And that's the internet for you. Got that's me. lead capture for you. Yeah. I want to take them to one single page where it's getting them to schedule an appointment with me. So when we get there, we'll get there, but I'm going to want to log into, into log into your, your Y Lopo or whatever the heck you, you sent me and, 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 and just simply create another page create a thank you page um, because that's not a thank you page. That's not a thank you page, but I just, I just wanted to share that with you really quick. We got to change that. Thank you page. Okay. So I'll start the like ad. I'll start the like ad. And I actually run the like ad cause I already have everything saved. I have all the targeting. I have all the demographics. I have it all saved in my app. I have the image. I have everything provided already. All I do is click on one button. I have everything saved in my ad account. So you're not going to see that like ad in your back office. I'll run it from my end, but I'll send you, I'll send you everything. I'll send you the snapshot. You'll see the image. You'll see it live. You'll see everything. You'll see everything. So I'll send, I'll send you an email shortly on that on for everything about that. Sounds good. Okay, Luann. Thank you so much. Call me if you need anything. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye.